Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I received this email um, last week, and I was meaning to put this up as a video. I'm just going to read it to you. Let me pull it forward. Um, this is from a blog that I get from a friend of mine. Um, I'm trying to, it's kind of long. Well, this one she posted for somebody, and the lady's name is Julie, daughter of the king, and it was posted Wednesday, December the 14th. So it was a little while back, not that old. Okay. And it's on I am calling you now blogspot.com. All right. This message well starts off behold I come which is Revelation 22:12. Behold I come quickly and my reward is with me to give every man according as his work shall be. Okay. Now, it's uh, the title of this particular prophecy message is called Hear What Spirit is Saying in This Late Hour. I speak of the mark of the beast. There is so much I wish to reveal to you, my beloved. Your experiences here in this realm, the set of circumstances which surround you at any given time, are all, are all by my design. You were known from before time was. Your journey here is meant to be the expression of who I am in you. I mold you and shape you as you move through the fiery trials and tribulations of this world, each step surrendering all to me in trust and in obedience. This is how I refine you as gold is tested by fire. This life is about your awakening. It is about receiving the revelation of who you are in me and I in you and walking in this, your full potential. I have the culmination of all your life experiences in my hands. I know the outcome no matter what path you choose at any given time. I can and will use every detail of your life for my glory, as this is why I have created you, for my good pleasure. You live in a time like no other. It is the darkest of times, but it will also be the most glorious of times, as the remnant church, my body, is awakening to her full potential. The mysteries and secrets of my kingdom are being revealed like never before, and that which was previously hidden and veiled is being understood. I have purposed it to be so for this generation. The midnight hour is come. And you have a responsibility to know and understand the times you are in. I have poured out my spirit as never before, and you have my holy word to counsel and guide you. It is for you to rise higher and shine brighter with my glory as the world plunges deeper into chaos. My people perish for lack of knowledge. So do not be as one who does not seek to understand your position and the importance of walking in righteousness. 
I have warned of great deception and my people, it is here. You will not be able to stand on any other foundation except for me to ensure your survival. I do not speak of your physical safety as much as I speak of your eternal resting place. Without my truth and my laws written on your hearts, you will be swept away by this deception and perish. Take these, my words, very seriously, children, as the powers of darkness have a very sinister plan. They have gone to great depths to ensure this plan comes to fruition, and many, many of my lukewarm ones will fall away and be lost. I have called upon you, yes, you, and all who have ears to hear what my spirit is saying in this late hour to listen to my wise counsel and warn the others. To whom much is given, much is required. It is becoming increasingly more difficult to distinguish truth from lies, light from dark, good from evil. But I tell you, there is one way, one answer. My name is Yahushua, Messiah and Redeemer. I have every answer and I hold all the keys. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father or enters my kingdom except through me. I am the ladder and I am the door. I am the shepherd and my sheep know my voice and they follow me. Follow me and only me. Do not listen to the voice of another. Pause. This is why y'all have got to stop saying, Oh, go listen to this man, or oh, go listen to that man. It's clear you're putting your opinions of what you're reading in the Bible based on some other man. Yeah, they can help us. They sure can. Other people, obviously, or we wouldn't even be here. Why would I need to be talking if I couldn't help you understand? But just be careful that you don't put all your eggs in one basket, so to speak. All right, I'll continue. There is so much evil planned against you as the enemy has manipulated all creation. There are plans to recreate life, to alter my design, many of which are already being implemented. Satan has always wished to be God and creator. Do you remember when I spoke to you about your DNA? It is my blueprint or code that is your DNA and makes you to be fashioned in my image originally before the fall, a pure and untainted bloodline. By devising ways to manipulate this DNA, the enemy is in the process of creating his own kingdom with his own race of beings. Pause. Now here is where uh, I'm not real sure about this message right here. I wanted to pass it on because it says share this with everybody. But the devil knows the Bible better than us. The devil knows he's going down. The devil knows exactly what's going to happen at the end of the seven years and then at the end of the millennial reign. However, he's probably got all the Illuminati Jesuits and who, all the people under him convinced that he's doing this. That he's making his own race of beings and they're going to run the earth. Otherwise, why would they work for him? Okay, that's what I think that that means. I'll continue from here. 
All right. Uh, I'll repeat. The enemy is in the process of creating his own kingdom with his own race of beings. Some have and will give allegiance freely, but many others he will coerce into this allegiance by manipulation and deception. Does my word not tell you, as in the days of Noah, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be? To know the beginning is to know the end. There is nothing new under the sun. Study what has occurred when the fallen angels came unto the daughters of men, and you will understand what is unfolding before your very eyes. This beast system is spoken about in my word in the end as iron mixing with clay. That which is my creation with that which is not. I have much wisdom to share with those who seek this from me. Ask of me and it shall be given unto you. It is imperative that you understand what happened then so you know that this battle is spiritual and there is only one answer to overcoming and being saved. Any alteration to your DNA, to the very essence of who you are within your blood, is an abomination to me, and is the mixing of Satan's seed with my holy creation. Man is taking it upon himself, under the direction of your adversary, to alter man's very existence, to add to or take away that which I alone have created. Woe to those who tamper with my creation as I alone am creator. There is no God beside me. These horrors are being done and will be done to a greater degree in the very near future and are being called advancement, advancement, and breakthrough technology. Boy, ain't that the truth. It's breakthrough technology. You all got to have it. All right, I'll get on. Understanding what I am saying to you, that's underlined. This has begun the mark of the beast that my word speaks about. This system has been created to keep you from aging to heal you, to remove imperfections, to track you medically, to birth children without defects. And this is a disguise for the real motive behind this technology. Its very purpose is for control and manipulation, an extremely wicked means to cause you to accept this advancement readily only to be used against you in the most vile and horrific way. This, quote, science, unquote, once taken into the body, this mark, whether it be in the hand or in the forehead, whether it be a chip or a code, whatever way it is now and will be, presented to you will forever change you and destroy the covenant that I have created with my created people. You will lose your eternal soul if you accept this mark, this technology within your bodies. Sooner than most people believe, you will all be faced with the most extreme and difficult decisions of your entire lives. Pause. This is why we must be ready for the barley harvest. You must be filled with the Holy Spirit. This is why Luke 21, 36, pray that you may be counted worthy to escape all these things that are to come upon the earth. And to stand before the Son of Man. This prophecy is for those who do not make 
the barley harvest. I am convinced. I, I, I pray I'm right. I hope we don't all face this. But let's all be ready just in case I'm wrong. But I stand on Luke 21, 36 and Revelation 3, uh, verses 10 and 11. And you can look that up. I can't quote them. All right, I'll go on. Um, let's see. Sooner than most people believe, you will all be faced with the most extreme and difficult decisions of your entire lives. For many, your physical survival will depend on these choices. You will soon be told you cannot work, receive medical care, buy or sell without this new technology. But as I have told you, worry not for these your physical bodies, for it is your soul for eternity and its place of dwelling that should concern you most. In other words, be more concerned about going to heaven or going to hell. All right. The beast system arises and your freedoms will be taken from you. You must trust and believe in me that I alone am your source and the solid rock foundation on which you can stand. Pray fervently for the increased measure of faith that is promised you. You must not give allegiance in any way to this anti-Messiah system. Know in your heart where you stand now as when that moment arrives and the sudden leaves are here, it will be too late to think about it. Oh, this really... I feel like it's not that far away. Alright, I'll continue. Many empty promises will be made following the chaos. As I have already told you, the judgments are upon you. The desperation and suffering experienced will cause many to turn to anyone or anything for instant physical relief. When they are not grounded in truth, they will, in their weakness, choose so very poorly. Again, I repeat to you, my people perish for lack of knowledge. I wish for you to know my truth and warn them. Warn your families, warn your friends, your co-workers, your peers, and yes, your pastors, and all those in leadership who are still sleeping in that day when each one of you will meet me face to face. There will be no excuse, excuses as I have always provided a way. Each one will answer to all that was presented in this life. For those who are my faithful ones, my reward is with me, and you will abide in the temple of my God. If you could see what I have waiting for all those who love me, as my spirit pours forth into you, my faithful ones, such glory is being released on the earth. You are tethering heaven to earth. And just remember, light has overcome darkness. The darkness will only be for a short time because the victory has already been won. Speak of these words to all you know. It may mean life or death for them, eternal life or eternal death. And it's signed Yahushua. And there are a lot of verses underneath here. I'm not going to read them. This is already a long video. I'm going to list them, just the references. And you can look, look them up in your Bibles. It would be a good Bible study for you to do. So, I'm going to end it here. 
with I pray that if you're able you can share this just um, share it somehow and get this word out I should have had it done already and I'm um, sorry I have it but perhaps the Lord will be merciful and get it out to many many people before it's too late I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over my internet connection and over each and every one of you when you listen to this God bless you all may he have mercy on us and give us strength to endure good night and I'll talk to you later